Hello sparklers and crushed children. I hope you're having a fun time in this lovely weather. Before we look at today's story, I've got some of these to show you. Can you see what they are? Yes, they're shells. Here's a cup of war. There you are. They used to have fish living in them. So really, they're little homes for fish. Some fish have a top and a bottom in their shells. They open up like this. Here's a picture of an amazing shellfish. It's called an oyster. It's got a top and a bottom to it, can you see? And what happens is a little tiny speck of sand creeps into the shellfish shell. And the oyster fish makes that little bit of sand into this beautiful white bead called a pearl. You can buy these pearls in shops, but they cost lots of money. You can also buy pretend ones like my earrings, can you see them? But they're not half as good as the real thing, and they don't cost as much money either. Today's story is called The Precious Pearl. I hope you enjoy it. Here is a man who buys and sells things. He has a fine fur coat and a felt hat with a floppy feather. This hat is his favourite. He's got lots of money, hasn't he? Can you see all that money? The house he lives in is huge. It has five floors and a fish pond with a fountain in the front garden. Can you see the goldfish that must be in the fish pond? This man has everything he wants. He has 15 rooms filled with furniture. He has four freezers full of food and three fridges. Can you see that huge meal he's eating? I think the dog is enjoying a sausage, don't you? And there is more money under his mattress than you could ever imagine. Much more. Yes, this man has everything he wants. Until one day in a shop window, he sees something, something special. It is a wonderful white pearl. Five hundred thousand pounds, says the man in the shop, the shopkeeper. It is even more money than the man has under his mattress. But he wants that pearl more than anything in the whole world. He hurries home because he has a plan. He sells his furniture, his fridges, his freezers full of food. He sells his house, his fountain and his fish pond. Can you see everybody giving him money for the things in his house? He sells his fine fur coat, but the felt hat with the floppy feather he keeps. It is his favourite. He borrows a barrow and bundles in all the money. Off to the shop he trundles to buy the pearl. Oh dear, he hasn't got enough money. You'll have to sell me your hat for six pounds, says the shopkeeper. The man laughs. He gives the shopkeeper his hat and at last he can have the pearl. Hooray! He's got the pearl at last. Can you see him dancing along the street? And can you see the sparkly pearl in his hand? Jesus says, God is like the pearl. It costs everything to know him, but he is worth more than anything in the whole world. That was another great story that Jesus told, wasn't it? I hope you enjoy making your oyster shells with the pearl inside it to remind us of that story. Claire is going to teach us a song now, the chorus of the song, about how great God is. 
Have a good week, sparklers and fresh children. Bye. Hello, children. We're going to learn a new song today that reminds us how great and how special our God is. It's called Our God is a Great Big God. Listen to the words. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Now watch the actions. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Let's do that together. Are you ready? Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Well done. Now let's sing it. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Let's do that again. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Well done. See you next time. Bye for now.